Hey everybody, welcome back to Buy the Popcorn. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you guys are new, my name is Stephanie. Today we're gonna to be talking about Netflix's newest film, Six Underground. You see the light? Yes, you see the light! Sorry for yelling. So Six Underground is rated R. It is directed by Michael Bay. It is two hours and seven minutes long, and it came out on Netflix December the 13th. I'm assuming Netflix gave him a whole like free creative um, zone and he literally went for it because this is possibly the most Michael Bay movie that you're going to see. It is full of explosions, it is action packed and that's about all it really has for it. One can't really go into this film with that critical movie reviewer mindset. The first 15 minutes of the movie you guys it is like a full like blown car chase cars flipping things exploding there are numerous dead people bodies flying i mean there's so much going on just in the first 15 minutes you guys so it does like bring you in and you have like these high expectations for this film but then as the movie kind of continues and they're really trying to do the whole character development within like the first like hour there's really no real character development you do a lot of flashbacks where they try to like tell you about the character well some of the characters pass and then at some point they tell you all right you're all caught up now but then like shortly after you get another flashback so then no you're not all caught up but the flashbacks really don't give you too much the only character that they really kind of show a little bit more of why they're doing this would be ryan reynolds which ryan reynolds is just playing that boy. the second part of the movie was a little bit better they had more of a purpose and they do have this like awesome like magnet deal that they use but this movie definitely is one that you just need to kind of switch your brain off and just enjoy what's in front of you and don't really go too much into it because there's really not much to go into it because you're just, just you know this was just michael bay being michael bay with the big ass like budget i recommend for you guys to watch six underground on netflix i'm i'm really gonna leave this up to you i i really am. again if you just kind of want to like chill you have nothing else to watch you love action movies, you love Michael Bay, you love Ryan Reynolds, then this is the movie for you. But just kind of go in there with that knowledge that there's really no real story behind it. If this was a movie that came out in theaters, I would for sure say do not watch this movie. So you can kind of take that as you please. So I really don't think I'm going to remember this movie very well afterward. I'm honestly at this point, I just saw it on saturday i think it was and we're at tuesday and it's already kind of fading from my mind the thing that really kind of stuck with me was the uh magnet deal because that was actually really really cool if you've seen six hundred ground let me know down below what you guys thought about it did you enjoy it is this one of your favorite michael bay movies i mean it is full on michael bay do you enjoy ryan reynolds being ryan reynolds i mean there's really no difference in his <laughs> in his acting in any way but um or did you just absolutely hate it it is one of the worst films for you for the year let me know down below but before you guys click out of this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't forget to let it post something new one last thing i did forget to mention when i did my review is that the uh, poster um pretty ridiculous it doesn't really give you too much about the movie now does it until next time i'll be seeing you guys in concessions bye